hey welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm brie i make videos about living with chronic illness all things cozy and book related lots of books on this channel and today's is going to be a vlog i had recorded this over two weekends so it first started at the end of may and now it is june happy pride month by the way and i wanted to just give a little intro before we start because this vlog is a little bit all over the place so over the course of that week, I read about four books and then we do a lot of fun things like uh, having an anniversary with my husband and also just hanging out, going to some bookstores and reading lots and lots of books. It's been a really good reading month. May was really good and so far June has been good too. So I hope you enjoy and if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And also just let me know what you're reading down in the comments. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling going, dishes going. It's great. I feel very accomplished because it's literally 10 a.m. So I'm feeling really good and Noah's at work. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the day. Uh, I finished the bullet that missed last night. I feel okay about it. Like I enjoyed it because I enjoy the characters, but I don't feel like the mystery overall was as fun as the other two or like it just didn't have the same spark, I think is the only way to describe this one. It just, it like wasn't as funny as the other two. And I felt like the mystery just kind of was slower and I don't know, not as interesting to me. So overall, I think this is my least favorite out of the three. It's still nice to be with the characters and like things in their lives are progressing and everything. But I just don't think it's packed the same punch as the other two that I had read. So those are that, the thoughts on that. But now I feel like I just don't know what I want to read. I think the problem with the, um, with the e-reader is that with the library, I just have too many options. And I found 
throughout the years that when I have too many options, I can't make a decision. <laughs> so I like with my clothes, for example, I keep them very minimal because when I used to have more clothes, I couldn't ever decide what to wear and getting ready was super hard for me. And morning routines are already difficult for me. So once I like reduced my clothes, I've been able to just like get ready super easily. So I feel like I'm having that same problem, but with books. It's like there's all the options in the world. I mean, granted, some things are checked out, so you can't check them out, but it's just like, I can't decide because I have too many options. So I think I've discovered that I don't think mystery right now, any kind of mystery is the vibe because I think I've just been reading too much of it. So I think if I continue, I'm just not going to enjoy the books quite as much. And everything I had been reading was that. So I think I want to put a pause on those, that. But the thing I was reading that I said wasn't the vibe, which is sci-fi, was, is not a mystery. So maybe I should try it. But I really just like cannot decide at all what I feel like reading or what I feel like doing. I've been sitting here for like, not even joking, like 30 minutes trying to decide what I want to do with my day. And I just can't decide. I feel like I need to get out of this apartment, but I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm struggling. Although I'm very accomplished this morning, I'm also struggling now to figure out what to do with the rest of my day. Noah's home. Probably he'll, my guess is he'll get home around three, um, maybe 3.30. So I have a lot of time to just figure out what I want to do. And I don't want to just sit at home. I want to do something, but it's kind of cold outside. So going out and reading, though it is supposed to warm up. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I need to film a video, but I'm just waiting for my hair to dry a little bit more. So I do need to do that today. I don't know. You'll see what I decide <laughs> later once, you know, the B-roll goes and everything. I'll have figured it out. But for now, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, try to decide because the thing I'm doing is just scrolling through my phone because I can't decide anything. And I don't wanna be doing that all day. It's a great, nice, sunny day out. So I wanna make the most of it. So yeah, you'll see what I decide in, in a bit. It's gonna be a while for me, like a second for you, so. <laughs> Tell me, baby, where are you going? Prairie wind goes on blowing. Tumbleweed shadow, I'm tied to you. Tell me, babe, what are we gonna do? Cause you got me in the back. a bug a uh, fly in our house and the boys are on the hunt so this is gonna be like entertainment for a while which is good because they need crazy time so if you hear like a crashing that's them ch chasing the bug but we went and I again forgot to take video until the very end so I just have some clips just of the plants but I got I have a green stalk planter which is like we got it for our wedding and it, it's a really great planter, but it's like 
five um, around and then it's four tiers and then you water it at the top and it equally waters throughout. Um, so I got five pepper plants for the bottom and then I got five basil for around and then I got a cherry tomatoes um, for around one level and then I have just lavender for one of the top ones so then I'm going to try to get I think a couple more herbs for the top <laughs> and um, plant that so I'm going to plant that later oh my god <laughs> I really hope they don't break anything but these favorite thing is chasing bugs like loves it <laughs> and um yeah so I'm gonna do that I haven't read anything I basically just filmed two videos and then I took I went with my mom to the plant store so now we're back so I think now it's um 2 15 so I think I'm gonna relax and try to read a bit and figure out what I'm in the mood for so I think I'm just gonna relax and you will see whatever I decide to do with the rest of my day I could sit around and wait all day You lay easy on my mind Like a candle I just burn away All we really have is time All we really have is time I don't wanna waste it on anybody Take it with anybody but you Take it with anybody but you, you, you. Good morning. It is now the next day. It's Monday and we're about to leave to go to my parents' house. And I wanted to update before I left because I've been reading Tales, of, for, Tales from the Cafe. Um, and I got to the 50% mark. So I read the first two stories. First story was called, what was it called? First story was called Best Friend. Yes, that was right. And then the second one was called Mother and Son. And then I just have left lovers and married couple. I enjoyed both of them. I think I enjoyed the story of Best Friends more, like the lead up to them going back in time. And then but I felt like the mother and son had more of an emotional impact on me. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm going to have to talk quick because my battery is dying. I actually just changed my battery instead. So, yeah, so I'm enjoying this. I feel like these are just really good if you want short little snippets, perfect for the summer, just quick little stories of glimpses into people's lives. And it's just, I really enjoy these. They're very, they have a cozy feel while also dealing with harder topics, you know, like grief and regrets and things like that but it doesn't feel so heavy but that being said I do cry on a lot of them like they punch an emotional no they have an emotional impact without being overly depressing and it just creates this cozy atmosphere especially in it being in a cafe and everything so I enjoy that um I didn't record very much yesterday because I just want to enjoy our anniversary so we did we went to a bookstore because um the first year like presents there's like a whole list from each year of what you get and I don't think we'll follow them very much but the first year was paper so of course I got some books and then we went to the game store because Noah loves board games and we got so we got two board games and both happened to be book theme so we got this one which is called fiction and it's like Wordle, like they, it's definitely based off a of Wordle. It says a Wordle inspired game, but you have a person who knows the word and is lying about it. But the way they're choosing the words 
is through different literary books. So that's really fun. Um, it was a little more complicated than I think we realized because they, they can lie. Like they, when they give you a clue, they can lie and then you guess and then they like can lie about what's right um, once per turn. So it just makes it a little difficult. But I think it'd be a good fun game with like a couple people playing it. And then, and then we got another game called My Shelfie and I don't have it down here, but it's like literally looks like Connect Four if you've ever played Connect Four where there's like a board and then you have these tiles that are different room things. So there's like books, cats, plants, trophies, like anything you would put on a bookshelf and you have to choose them and build your bookshelf and you're like competing with the other person to like build a bookshelf and you have goals and stuff and it's really, really fun. So we had a great time. We played those and we had dinner together and just had a whole like hanging out day and it was really, really great. So I didn't record very much at all, planted our plants as well. Um, so I have just a couple clips that I had put in, but now we're gonna go hang out at my parents by the pool and I'm gonna read, hopefully finish this. Um, and I have other books on here that I can choose from if I finish, but yeah, that's what the plan is today. And we're gonna get a move on here. <laughs> um, I can't remember the last time I checked in. I know, I think I checked in on Sunday and I hadn't recorded a lot because I was, no, maybe that was Monday. I hadn't recorded a lot Sunday or Monday because I was spending time with my family. And then Sunday was my anniversary with my husband, our one year. Um, so I didn't check in. And then it was my time of the month. So, you know, getting out of bed is like an accomplishment for me. So. I just was like trying to, you know, get through life for a couple days and I'm feeling a bit better today. I need to take it slowly, but I can like function now. So I did do some reading that I didn't, don't think I updated you for. Um, first of all, I had ordered this off of Pango and I had some like money there from selling books. And so I found this and it came with a plastic cover on it. So it had never even been opened. I got it for $7. That's amazing. And I love this book so much. I read it um, before this reading vlog and it's one of my new favorite historical mystery series. I just love the couple in here. And while the mystery itself wasn't like the most amazing mystery, I really read these for the couples in them and for the like just make characters and I really love the characters and I cannot to continue. So I'm really, really happy I found this. So then I think I had updated that I finished this. Overall thoughts are that I enjoyed it. And I think just the little vignettes of people's lives and their little like stories are just really heartfelt and they feel cozy to me, but they deal with like some harder things like grief and loss and things. I think my favorite was probably, ooh, I don't know. I liked Best Friend a lot. I think Lovers as well. I don't know, because Mother and Son got me too. I don't know. I don't think I can pick a favorite. I wanted to, and then it proved more difficult. So yeah, so I really did enjoy this. And if you're looking for like just a cute, cozy, well, I wouldn't say cute. If you're looking for a cozy time, but it's like literary fiction, magical realism, I would try the before the coffee gets cold. It's really fun. I like them. And then I had been reading this, um, but I finished it throughout the week. This is A Tempest at Sea, which is the seventh book of the Lady Sherlock series, I want to say. And I, I felt overall okay about this. I think I'm learning that, sorry if you can hear that, my husband's trying to fix our coffee machine. Um, I think I've learned that Stories on boats just don't do it for me. I read The Lies of Black Lamora, which is a fantasy story, and in the middle book, they're on a ship, and I really did enjoy that one, but so far I haven't found, like, a story that takes place on a boat that I've liked, and maybe it's, and well, I was gonna say maybe it's not fantasy, but I read Tress of the Emerald Sea, and I did like it, but my biggest hang-up was that there wasn't a lot of movement, and all the time spent on the boat was not the greatest, and that's how I felt about this. It was just, like, okay. It's kind of a locked room mystery because they're stuck on a boat. I just feel like because of that, there's not enough movement in here for me. And like something about the boat setting, because I also read The Woman in Cabin 10, which was like a thriller and I didn't really enjoy that one as well. I just think 
boat mysteries specifically are not for me. And I have to figure out if I do like seafaring stuff. I think if you were stopping at like places along the way, that'd be more interesting for me. But like the ones that take place like this takes place solely on the boat are not that fun for me. So I finished it. It was okay. Um, but I think it's probably my least favorite in the series so far. So then I'm now reading The Cabinet of Dr. Ling, which if you don't know, um, it's kind of like my guilty pleasure series. It's the Pendergast series. It's by Lincoln Child and Douglas Preston. And it's a series about an FBI agent, Pendergast, who's like uber rich. And he just like takes cases for $1 a case. And he goes around and it's solving these mysteries. And what I really like about them is they're a, almost all of them are like have a paranormal aspect to them. There's like a sci-fi almost element to them that I really enjoy. And there's some like overarching books that like in three books, it's like a mini trilogy in them. And they're just such like fast paced, like keep my heart racing. And Pendergast is like just an interesting character to follow in a lot of ways. I don't know. It's just it's something that I can't put down. So this is the 21st book in the series. And in this one, it's actually dual timeline because there's part of it that's back in time and part of it that is in present day. And so far, I think I'm on, well, I've been reading. Uh, I'm, I'm crazy on this thing. Like I cannot stop reading this. I'm on chapter 29. So let's see what that is. Okay. Yeah, that's about where I thought it was. So I'm this far in and I'm enjoying it. Like, I think this one, Bloodless, was not my favorite. Um, but how, based on how it left off, this one is picking up on a lot of the kind of elements of these stories that I did like, the, like the backstories and stuff. And so I'm having a good time with this one. I think... I think this one's stronger than Bloodless for sure and I'm enjoying it and it was one of my anticipated releases so I'm reading it um but I wanted to talk too about this coat I'm obsessed I literally spent like hours yesterday going through and I took pictures of my bookcases and I went through and put on Libby all the books that I own um that are on Libby from my library and I put them into tags. So I had like anticipated tag. I had my physical TBR. I had TBR from like Goodreads that are books like I've been wanting to read, but I don't own. And then I had a maybe for just books I've heard about that I'm like, oh, well, that could be interesting, but I don't really know for sure if I want to read it. I put it on <laughs> there so that I can read from here because there's been something about e-reading that has just like sucked me in. I never thought I was a big e-reader because I just couldn't, I didn't read on like an e-reader really. I read on screens and I think I've already said this, but man, like I can't stop. <laughs> I'm like a hundred percent obsessed with this. It's so convenient and it makes it easier to like borrow for my, borrow from my library because I'm really bad about going and returning books and like picking out books. And I have this whole pressure of like the next person's waiting to read this book. So I need to return it. And so I built up this whole thing in my head where I'm like, I can't keep a library book. I've literally had a challenge to myself to keep this library book, The Chain of Thorns, um, no, Chain of Iron, past its time so I could use it for the wrap up because I just freak out so much about someone waiting for that book and I'm finished reading it. And so I was like trying to, like trying to get myself to get over that. And I had no qualms about an ebook getting it from the library and like taking the 14 days to read it or like renewing it if no one's behind me because I can actually see that no one's behind me and for some reason I'm like well someone might be behind me in the library they're waiting for it but they haven't put it on hold but they just it's not on the shelf so they aren't getting it and this has like changed my whole mindset <laughs> anxiety is gone which is fantastic hello so yeah so I'm obsessed with this I can't stop reading, which is great because I feel like um, I was kind of getting in like a slump. And I think this is going to really help me with my book buying problem because I want my shelves to be like full of books I love. And so this will let me read through my physical TBR, but also let me read books without having to purchase them. And I know I've known about the library 
but like I said, there's been that gap of like able to use a physical book to like the ebook. There's just something different about checking out an ebook from my library than the physical book. And I can't explain what's going on in this brain very well. So to you, it's probably sounding like, <laughs> like what is she talking about? But for me, it's been so helpful. So I'm in love. Um, my stickers for my phone were kind of coming off. So I kind of stuck them back here. And so far they've been working better because they're not on an edge. So I think it's really cute. And um, I'm going to get to reading. So I, I rambled for 10 minutes. All that to say is that I'm continuing this reading vlog today and tomorrow, um, Saturday, Sunday, because I feel like I didn't get to record a lot last weekend and then I got sick. So plans are to read this and just chill at home. We are going to probably play some games. Hi, Kekka. You want to come in? Come here, babes. Come here. No? Okay, bye. Um, and yeah, we're probably going to play some games, just hang out with each other and take it easy this weekend since we're both home and I'm not feeling well. I really need to not push myself to do too much, even though I know I should be cleaning the house. That is a tomorrow me thing. Uh, the only thing I want to do today is record my wrap up so that I can return that book and so that I have it ready to go up um, because it is now June. So yeah, that's my 10 minute thing. I'm going to really have to cut this down. Tell me, baby, where are you going? Prairie wind goes on blowing. Tumbleweed shadow, I'm tied to you. Tell me, baby, what are we gonna do? Cause you got me in the
so I wanted to check in. I'm not feeling great now and I just know that like it's way better than it was but if I don't take it easy then I'm not going to feel as good. So I've been just sitting in bed and just starting to read and I kind of watch some YouTube videos and stuff but I wanted to say something about the cabinet of Dr. Lang because it is one thing of the series that is funny to me. It's, it's how the women characters are written. It's just there is a lot about like how they look and stuff like that um, in it and I just I kind of roll my eyes every time. <laughs> so it's like talking about one of the guy, the detectives, D'Augusta, his wife, and they're like eating at a restaurant and they're it, it like describes all the food that they're eating and it's like saying how does she stay where does it say how the hell did she stay so thin eating stuff like that so it's like little things like that throughout it it's always like talking about how they can eat whatever but stay thin or just always like about their bodies and uh it's very male gaze uh written but other than that i just it's i find it fun and the chapters are really short like usually like this chapter is only 10 pages so they do a good job of like keeping you reading because you get to like the end of the chapter and you're like well i can just read another chapter because it's only five more pages or stuff like that so then you quickly like fly through it and i enjoy the overarching like mystery i'm always like it's always thrilling to read so i i enjoy it by that way but it is funny reading the women characters from a male perspective and there's another series that i have the first book in um that's nora kelly who's from like the museum um that's new york museum so she's like a character that comes up a couple times and they made a series of her stuff in like i think it's in new mexico or something she's supposed to be um doing stuff and i can't remember and i haven't read it but i have like the first one in the series and i'm just i'm a little nervous about how they're gonna write a female main character so i haven't given it a shot yet but I do want to because I like the way that they write thrillers. I just had to say that. Also, again, obsessed. I can hold it. I, I'm just never gonna, <laughs> never gonna stop saying how much I'm loving this because literally I think my life has been changed. <laughs> I'm a new person, a new reader, if you will. So I'm just gonna be here with my hot water bottle. My old one broke, so I got a new one, but it's very nice and shiny. Um, shiny that's not the right word it's nice and fluffy <laughs> oh the brain is not working um so yeah i'm gonna be here reading so welcome to the end of the video i wanted to wrap up the cabinet of dr ling because i never wrapped up my full thoughts by the end but this is one of those guilty pleasure books i just love so much and for the most of it i was enjoying it i wouldn't say it was like going to be a new favorite um but the ending half really picked up and I really enjoyed it and it left off the very last page got me I closed the book and I was just like what the hell things just got wild and I can't wait to see where the next one goes because things just got crazy and in this series there is multiple like trilogies within it and I have a feeling that this is going to kick off another like trilogy from them which are usually my favorites because it just gets more wild and crazy I, this series is definitely over the top, hard to believe, things like that. I like the sci-fi elements, like I said, but it's just definitely one that's kind of like over the top and crazy, but I, I really enjoy it and it just gets me every time. This one was no exception and I like this one even better than Bloodless. This one is not a new favorite, but it's definitely a higher up there. So really happy and I think the next one could be a favorite just given how this one ended I think it's gonna get wild so yeah over the course of a week I ended up reading The Bullet That Missed then Tales from the Cafe then A Tempest at Sea and then The Cabinet of Dr. Lang so while I wasn't feeling the best I did manage to read quite a bit and I'm really happy that I got to all these it's been just a quiet cozy week of reading along with some fun exciting anniversaries and things like that so I feel good about this. I really appreciate you watching and just being here and supportive and all the comments you leave down below. It just really means a lot to me and I just want to say thank you. So I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you next time.